next topic is look kids we have just discussed that ohm's law according to ohm's law current flowing through the wire is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends it means current and potential difference are directly proportional so that same has been shown by the graph this is exactly iv curve or iv graph means if current is zero or if voltage is zero directly proportional current is also zero if voltage become doubles same time current also becomes a double means two if voltage becomes a five current also becomes a five so from here we understood that the graph between i and v if that body is been following ohm's law then for that particular conductor or for that body the graph between i and v is always straight line now next what we call conductors which conducts electricity very easily we call them as conductors insulators which never allow electricity to pass through them in between these both there comes something whose conductivity is less than conductors but more than insulators and we call that as resistors but we call them as resistors i hope you got the point that resistors are those substances whose conductivity is less than conductors but more than insulators so let's not waste the time let's come to the next that is verification of ohms law that how we can verify the ohms law now look we know according to ohms law current is directly proportional to v or v is directly proportional to current is that so now if we remove proportionality sign then one proportionality constant will come and that is r now we know this is constant this is constant yes now take this i this side and what you will be getting v upon i is equals to r that is constant now if in any circuit or in this circuit if the ratio of v and i is always constant then ohm's law is verified for example this is like uh, ammeter ammeter gives the reading of current in the beginning for example in first case <coughs> the value of current is let it be 10 ampere what is the value 10 ampere this is voltmeter which gives the value of voltage let it be 20 so the value comes out to be 2 ohm so the value of r comes out to be 2 ohm now what i did actually this happened when this switch to switch was on means if switch is off no current flows but when the switch was on i got these readings this is battery i hope this is clear this is battery this is switch this is a resistance any resistance you can say there is something new rheostat now what is rheostat rheostat can increase or decrease the resistance now if for example if i decreased the resistance i decreased the resistance if resistance is decreased 
we have done resistance is inversely proportional to current if resistance is decreased then current will increase let current is 20 now because I have seen the reading from ammeter then what will be the value 20 at the same time when I checked this it was 40 now again the ratio is 2 ohms now for third case third case with the help of rheostat I increased resistance now if resistance is increased this will be decreased let the value of current is just 5 now which has been shown by the reading in ammeter at the same time the reading of voltmeter was 10 so from here I was getting again and again same values for R means the ratio of V upon I remains constant hence it verifies the Ohm's law because this is exactly Ohm's law yes this is constant now if the ratio of V to I remains constant then it satisfies or verifies the Ohm's law thank you